Welcome. I'm Dr. Gay Cake Maker. <laughs> Gay Cake Maker. Nothing. No heart. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and welcome to Epic Confections. This week, I'm going to be making a three-tier Lost Souls Ghost Cake. Let's do it! Go! So to start, I'm using two 10-inch round dummy cakes. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of buttercream in the middle, stick them together, and ice the entire outside with plain white buttercream, and then we'll build up the rest of the cake. Let's do it. Do you hear that? They're coming for me. They know. They know. So next I'm going to level out some 8 inch round white cakes, fill them with buttercream and stack them on top of the dummy cake. Let's do it! Sweating and shit. Ah, oh, Lord, help me. So I did stick a cake board on top of the 10 inch just for some extra stability. Gonna go ahead, lift that up. So I just filled a small piping bag with some white buttercream icing. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in these gaps here. Fix up this cake a little bit. Just a so I'm going to go ahead and dowel the 8 inch round cake and cut and fill a 6 inch cake. I printed off some really creepy images on some edible rice paper. Oh, I'm fogging up. No, fogging up. Must be because I'm so hot. So next, I printed off some really creepy images on some edible rice paper. Just gonna cut them out and stick them right on the cake. You're as old as I am, it's 
sometimes you need to wear your glasses. of the rice paper all around the cake. And that's the cool effect you get. They're trying to break out of the cake. So I've just mixed together some white chocolate, a little bit of vegetable oil so it doesn't seize up, and dyed it as dark as I could. I'm just gonna throw it in a piping bag. So I'm gonna do a drip effect on all of the tears. What I'm gonna try to do is at the seams where the two photos come together, I'm gonna try to get drips all the way down there so that it kind of hides the seam. So once you're happy with your bloody drip, I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in all the tops of the tears here. You should have a small offset spatula handy so that you can smooth it out. I don't have one handy because I'm a professional. I'm gonna go ahead and roll out some fondant. I got a skull from the dollar store. I actually cut it in half because it was a little large. Um, and I'm gonna cover this with fondant. And I'm gonna put that right on the top there. So it's like a lost soul coming out of the cake. Yeah, let's do it. You're going to want to save your excess fun because we will be using it. So I'm going to go in. The edges are rough on the bottom. I'm not concerned about that. I'm just going to use a little bit of airbrush color. Black. So I just rolled out my piece of fondant and I just cut them into three different size strips. I'm going to go ahead and make some triangles. Like that. And then we're going to go ahead and stick them on like this. So it's like the head broke through the top of the cake. So next I'm going to go ahead and put some white buttercream all on the base of my cake. And I'm going to airbrush it black and then I'm going to light this bitch up. I'm going to light the bottom on fire. Let's do it.
Bowls Ghost Cake. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new videos every single week. Thank you so much to Mariposa Market for sponsoring this video. And we'll see you next time.